Uh, stood out from the crowd with a particularly high kill rate, <laughs> averaging roughly three kills per match. They're going off the kill rates. Nurse, where's the buff? Where's the buff? You want to mute? Um, why do you want to mute it? It's just background. Who cares? Oi! Where is Nurse's buff? If you're going off kill rates, eh? That's not how it works. You don't use statistics uh, for one thing and then ignore them for another. Nurse is the lowest buffer if you're using these. I'm obviously taking the piss, but kind of not because that is how you use statistics. You don't just ignore one side and then favor another. It doesn't, that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Uh, not if you want it to be uh, used well, but whatever. Um, with that in mind, we've made some slight tweaks to bring him closer in line with the rest of the roster. Yeah, okay. Decreased his movement speed while placing a snare to 4.0 ms. Previously, no speed change. And reduced the number of play snares from 8 to 5. Likewise, the maximum number of dream pallets has been re reduced from 10 to 7. So there's the nerf to dream pallets. Minimum so far. Uh, which I find funny because no one thinks they're that, that strong. So he slows down when, when placing a snare. That will hurt him, yeah. Um, I mean, he doesn't need any of this. So anything is just going to hurt him, which he doesn't deserve. Um, it's not... Uh, how big would I say that is? Uh, they get extra distance, more sprint, more shift W, you know. Um, when I'm trying them tactics at uh, certain loops where you put a snare at one side and you pull around the other side to catch them off guard, you won't really be able to do that now. They'll be able to run around and put the pallet down on you. You won't be able to use the snares in mid-loop as well as efficiently because, once again, they can get back to the pallet and put it down. Um, once they've ran over one and if you couldn't catch up to that uh, in that chase uh, and you were still at the loop, you'd have to place another, thus giving them more distance again. So there is definitely some negatives to it. Um, <laughs> Wait, the Urimex are uh, four point. So they did get rid of the Urimex. I, I said they'd do that. Uh, it's yeah, obvious things. Anyway, um, handful of add-ons have also received changes. Uh, add-ons which previously reduced action speeds. Yeah, because action speed is definitely not too fast. Uh, now make, maybe they're doing this to, you know, see the, the foundation, you know, uh, it's the, uh, the more optimistic way of looking at it. They're doing this so they can actually see the proper foundation without the, uh, plaster fixers, so they can, uh, eventually fix that, maybe. Uh, reduce action speeds now, make various actions louder. Okay. I wonder if the footsteps will sound like default footsteps used to. Because they've made footsteps pretty much uh, mute now. So it'd be very interesting. That's a perk that I would love, by the way. A perk which allows you to hear the uh, survivor's footsteps again. Um, that shit would be good. Like, serious. That, that shit would be really good. Um, make Predator do that. Yeah, that, that, that would be really good. Uh, I miss being able to hear the footsteps. Um... But, you know, I don't know if that'll happen. Uh, let's see. Duh, duh, duh. So, yeah. So, grunts of pain, generator sounds, uh, footsteps. All the things you used to be able to hear, but now we're, I guess now you need add-ons too. Uh, Black Box uh, also had a, uh, has a brand new effect. Uh, when an exit gate is opened, it is blocked for sleeping survivors for the next... <laughs> what? <laughs> you have an array? Which only works right at the end of the game, and it's only for 10 seconds if they're asleep. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, man. So you have to be chasing them at the exit gate to actually benefit from it. Nothing other than that. Uh, uh, alarm clocks have also received some tweaks to make their effect clearer and more rewarding. Use it. This is for survivors, by the way. Using an alarm clock will now make you fully immune to sleep. Including sleep caused by a killer hit for 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, I got scared there. Um, so for those who don't know, when you're awake versus Freddy, he can't use any ability on you. 
So snares don't do anything. You need to be asleep for them to actually do something. Uh, so you can't put them back asleep for 30 seconds. 30 seconds isn't too bad. I was scared if they were going to say like a minute or something. Uh, indefinitely. Something mad like that. Um, it's not too bad, I would say. It's not too bad. Again, you don't need any nerfs. And this is just... This is buffs, actually, to the survivor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a nerf. Um, this effect uh, is now shown on the hood by turning your sleep timer yellow and having it tick down. Okay. With these changes, we're hoping to promote str more strategic use of dream traps rather than placing them consistently during chase. Uh, as well as encouraging survivors to seek out and use alarm clocks. We'll monitor its performance closely and adjust where necessary going forward. So yeah, there you go. They nerfed uh, Freddy. Uh, as I said, they would. Massively overrated. People are bitching about him. They're going to nerf him. Um, now he's just weaker. Um, his, uh, his anti-loop might be the worst in the game now. It was close to the worst. I, I think Clown was still the worst. But it might be the worst in the game now. I'm not sure. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, it's the only anti-loop you can literally just stop being affected by, by being, uh, awake. So. Uh, okay, demo. <clears throat> so, the, apparently they're going to give him more undetectable, which doesn't do anything, because you can hear his footsteps. So, that doesn't do anything. They need to fix undetectable to emit no sound for that to do anything. But, uh, let's see. Uh, our focus on Demogorgon is to give more mobility with his portals. We made the following changes to base portals. Increase speed while portal. Good. Uh, reduce cooldown after exiting. Why has he got a cooldown? Uh, increased undetectable length uh, while exiting a portal. Doesn't matter. You can hear his footsteps. Uh, on top of these, we've done a complete pass on the Demogorgon's add-ons to make some of the lesser used ones more appealing. Lifeguard whistle. A rusty metal uh, whistle that once... Rule the Hawkins public pool. Uh, survivors near activated portals are indicated by killer instinct without having to charge the abyss. Okay, that's decent. That's de that's a decent add-on. Um, less slowdown. Uh, way quicker uh, information. That's decent. Uh, Ron Pumpkin. Uh, this is going to be a meme one, I have a feeling, because it's brown, but we'll see. Uh, it's going to be the blood point one. I can see it already. I just said it. This is going to be like something stupid, in it? Uh, when traversing the upside down, the portal you enter is destroyed. <laughs> Let's think of an actual use of that. No, you know, there's no use of it. Uh, there could be if you had control over what portal were destroyed, but that'd be a good add-on. All right. So yeah, meme. They're adding meme uh, add-ons, which I don't know why you use them. I guess more blood points. Um, Huntress. Oh no, they've said don't panic. Oh, you didn't see it? Sorry. There you go. I see it a bit different to you guys uh, on my screen. So I'm trying to like, you know, connect it so we both can see the same thing. My bad. Um, okay, Huntress. So I, I can only go to here. Okay. Um, I don't like they say don't panic. That's like someone saying, um, what would it, like, I'm being very truthful right now or something. It's like, weren't you, weren't you always? Like, what do you mean right now? Uh, don't panic. Uh, we have not changed the Huntress base kit. We have, however, done a pass on her add-ons to bring them up to modern standards. Yes, this included the infamous iridescent head. What a surprise. Very obvious. Um... Soldiers, uh, put it. Oh, this is a new thing. She didn't have two, did she? She only had one, I believe. Uh, a rap take from the other. Um, Huntress moves at 4.6 ms when she has no hatchets. Ure? That's an ure? Ah, it's okay. Ure, though. You're not going to get use out of it because it's an ure. Um, I was actually saying an idea like this for, uh, I think Deathslinger at one point saying that uh, when you need to reload, um, you go at 4.6, and then when you've reloaded, you go back to 4.4. Uh, but that was just by default. That wasn't a fucking iridescent. It's cool. It's not going to be used much. It's an ure. So, but it's cool. Uh, iridescent head will be destroyed. I don't need to read it, but it will be. 
Uh, inflicts dying upon the victim. Wait. Infli in inflicts dying upon the victim. Uh, cast maximum car uh, carried hatchets of one regardless of... Oh shit, so it still does one hit. What the fuck? That's a shock. What? It's still one hits? Okay, well, I, I read that wrong. I did not think they would... Uh, they would keep it as one hit. Huh, that's really weird. You want to get one hatchet, yeah. But still... Okay, well, I didn't see that one coming. I thought they were going to proper change it. Um, it makes sense uh, that they would push it to one if they were keeping it. Hmm, interesting. The twins. Uh, last but not least, we have done a small set of tweaks for the twins. By the way, um, they haven't said all of these for Huntress, but they've got rid of her exhaustion add-ons. They haven't said that, but it's obvious. Um... Last but not least, uh, we have a small set of tweaks for the twins. Increase cooldown after successfully downing a survivor with Victor. <laughs> Was it hard enough for them to kick Victor uh, after he downed someone that they needed to have it even longer? <laughs> okay, so you're going to waste... Uh, at best case scenario, you're wasting two seconds uh, to get back into... Um, a chase with Victor or back to Charlotte. So it's always, you know, you're wasting time now. <clears throat> um, and it's just going to make survivors uh, find it easier to kick Victor after they've hit another survivor. It was already very easy, but now it's a bit easier. So, sure. Camera control is now immediately restored when uh, taking control of Charlotte. That's good. <clears throat> Sli uh, silencing cloth. Increased uh, undetectable duration to 20 seconds upon taking control of Charlotte. I hate when they do this, where they say um, they're increasing it. So look, do you see how they no notice how they say uh, from three to five seconds? They give us both values, right? It was three, now it's five. Here they just give you one value. They don't give you what it used to be. What did it used to be? I always feel it's motive when that happens, when you leave information out. I, I always feel motive. It doesn't mean that they have motive, but I always feel like it's motive. So it used to be 12 and now it's 20. Why didn't they just add that? Because to me, it felt like it might have been 18 and they've said 20 and that's why they didn't have 18 there. Um, so it was 12, okay. Yeah, they should add it. They should say from two. Just, you know, simple, boom, boom, boom. Uh, Udus and Pendant increase exposed duration to 30 seconds when a survivor crushes an I idol victor. How many seconds was that? They didn't say that either. Uh, exposed was 12 and now it's... So both of these were 12, were they? And now one's 20 and one's 30. Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> It was 29. Yeah, so that's what I mean by that. Like, expecting more to. So, so it's gone from 12 to 30 and 12 to 20, right? Is that what you're saying? I'll obviously can look into this. It's just easy to tell me. Okay. Um, perk updates. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to look through these. Um, just the name. So, Survivor... Survivor, 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 killer, survivor, survivor. So I'm going to assume the majority are going to be buffs for survivor. Uh, the one for Zanshin is probably going to be a buff because it's very bad. Uh, and the borrowed t uh, ob uh, object of the session might be a nerf. Uh, and the rest are going to be buffs. That's, I am red. I'm just uh, assuming. So I am very pessimistic with this game now. <laughs> it's through, through fucking conditioning, man. Like, you can't blame me. Um, <clears throat> small game. Come to our attention that uh, some of you really hate small piles of bones. Uh, to aid your uh, totem destroy mission, we've made. So this is going to be a buff. I can see straight away. Uh, small game now shows the number of remaining totems uh, as tokens on the uh, on the perk. That's big. Uh, detection range is increased by five uh, degrees uh, by each totem cleansed. That's big. 
Uh, and small game no longer detects killer traps. Ah, they've actually, uh, they've given it a nerf though. A, a, probably a fair one, honestly. Um, or maybe that's kind of, yeah, it's good and bad. It, it, it's, I, I'd say that's more of a nerf because then you won't be able to go against Trapper and Hag easy with small game. Uh, changes improve small games ability to track and cleanse totems while also removing the uh, antiquated part uh, that also applies to specific killers with traps. Yeah, uh, so yeah, as I expected, mainly buffs, uh, a little nerf, which honestly, understandable. Uh, lucky break. Uh, it now hides scratch marks in addition to blood pools whew, uh, to help you lose the killer. To compensate, the total duration has been reduced to 90 seconds. What from? 90 seconds from what? 120. 180. 180. I just don't get why they don't say both of them. Just put them here. You know? All you do is you just say, it's been reduced to 70, 80, 90 seconds from no, 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 no. Boom. Easy done. And then you could color code it as well for people who want to skim put it yellow and then blue or whatever and then people would know yellow is the new one blue is the old or vice versa just simple <clears throat> so it was 180 okay so yeah a, a big uh, nerf to the seconds but this is fucking strong we know scratch marks all blood like this is actually legitly a perk that you could think about now so you only get it once though don't you I can't remember exactly what this is Okay, Soul Guard. This has to be a nerf, right? This has to be. Um, a small change here. Soul Guard now has a cooldown of 30 seconds act uh, after activating. Realistically, this won't affect the vast majority of cases. This change is purely to prevent stacking healing speeds and Soul Guard. Yeah, so that's not anything then. That won't happen. 30 seconds. You get up, you get hit. Nah, this, this is very unlikely going to happen. So they're right. Realistically, this won't. Yeah, this this is this is like not gonna happen. Uh, open-handed. Have they actually gone for it? Uh, take uh, two for open-handed. We've slotted this update back uh, in the upcoming PTB. Maybe they had issues, dude. They're actually going through with the open-handed thing. Yeah, this is it. This is the exact thing, right? 16 meters by default. Oh my god, we're gonna get so much information. I'm very curious to see this. Uh, this could be really powerful. Kindred and Windows were open-handed. You're just going to see, like, every loop and every... <laughs> All right. Zanshin Tactics. Really bad perk. Uh, pretty much only used for Doc. Very straightforward change. Uh, Zanshin Tactics now permanently active and has a larger range. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think people are going to use it still. Still, that's good for Doctor. Doctor gets a bit stronger if he wants to use it. He doesn't need to, but he gets a bit stronger. Uh, borrow time. To remove some confusing uh, intricacies with how Borrow time interacts uh, with some killers in an oblivious state, we've removed the terror radius condition from the perk. To compensate, we've reduced the duration uh, effect uh, from 15 seconds down to 12. See, that's what I should say. But they, just, they leave out what it used to be. Uh, yeah, this is a huge buff to Borrowed. This is, this is insanely huge buff to Borrowed. 12 seconds is easy enough time, uh, you know, to get the effect of it. Uh, and then getting away from uh, oblivious uh, and undetectable and everything. Uh, yeah, this is this is huge. Um, it, it's a massive nerf to all stealth killers um, and nerf to all perks uh, too. So this is huge uh, for Borrowed in my opinion. Object. So they, I'm assuming this is going to be a nerf. Uh, this PTB also features the newly reworked object. Uh, anytime your aura is revealed to the killer, the is re uh, killer is revealed to you. Uh, and you gain... Wait. What? This wasn't in. This is new. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is not good. 6% on repairing. This is the thing I look at, repairing. The repair speed always scares me. Um, if you're the obsession, your aura is revealed to the killer for 3 seconds every 30 seconds. Mm. 
So every 30 seconds, you're going to get in 6% bonus to repair. Added on to if he's using barbecue, and then that'll come on too. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing what I'm talking about this is they didn't mention this. I'm pretty sure they just said this. They didn't mention bonus healing or bonus repairing. I just, I hate the stuff what goes into repairing. I feel that re uh, gens are way too quick as they are, but... Uh, the new version has a few benefits. Uh, being able to track the killer, being able to uh, deduce which all read and person has. Yeah, I know, it does. It does. This is... Uh, it, it, it's... It, it takes away the brokenness of a survivor friends with it. Uh, but it actually... It gives quite a few benefits, uh, as I've said. I guess they didn't want to just nerf it. Understandable. I don't like this bonus healing shit. 6% is not fantastic, so I say spine chest percent is massive. Um, it adds up, though, man. It adds up. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I just dislike repairing going quicker, man. I don't know what to say. I think it already goes insanely quick, and if you get to high MMR and MMRs in the game, I think you'll uh, start to get what I'm on about. But whatever. Um, cool. Um, miscellaneous balance, toolboxes. The chance to uh, receive a skill check while using a toolbox has been increased. So you'd go a bit faster on the gens uh, again. Makes toolbox me, uh, feel more interactive when they're in use and uh, it's totally not because the lead designer had a skill check challenge and got unlucky three matches in a row. Um, okay. Yeah, you get a bit faster uh, progression on the gen when you get skill checks. Skill checks. Uh, hatches. Uh, another small tweak. We've decreased the time the hatch remains open after a key is used from 30 seconds to 10 seconds. Like before, if the hatch closes naturally, is not kicked shut, the end game collapse will not start. Wait. Ah, interesting. Please note that this is not the final change keys we'll receive in. We'll share more info on these fucking keys. Dude, when are we going to get information on these keys? <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, okay. At least it's a start. Um, but if you kick it short, the end game collapse starts again. Why can't they make it if you kick it at the end game collapse doesn't start, even if it's with a key, I wonder. Why do you think, guys? Yeah, keys only work for survivor friends now. That's what I'm getting at it, yeah. I get that too. Um Uh Hood up there. Uh P2B, we made some more changes. So the Doctor's Madness effect also made it easier to uh, differentiate uh, between different levels of madness. Good. Nightmares, Dream World effect and sleep timer. Yep, so that plagues infection meter, um, stalk meters, and ghost faces and mark. Okay. Uh, additionally, we've adjusted some of the survivor portraits so they no longer obstruct the bottom of power indicators. Okay. Uh, struggle, we know about this. In an ongoing effort to improve uh, accessibility, we... Well, I know this. Uh, is there anything new here? Uh, don't need to mash. Uh, so, missing one of these skill checks will remove a chunk of your, your struggle meter. Uh, if you do not attempt to... Oh, wait. If you do not attempt to hit two in a row, you will be a sacrifice. So, you can still kill yourself on hook. Um, it just won't be as quick. But you can still do it. And it'll be very similar, I feel. As you receive uh, skill checks, your struggle meter will gradually decrease at the same rate as before. Okay. Goal with this change is to make struggling more accessible. Yeah. Uh, graphical update. Da -da -da -da, we saw these. Uh, on that note... Oh, uh, I can't go further down. Uh, on that note, we've reached the end of this update. Uh, all the changes mentioned above uh, will be for testing this week's player test build starting April the 13th. Yeah, so tomorrow. All right. Um, up there. 
Yeah. PTB tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, so demo, nothing. I mean, I guess these two are cool. This ain't gonna do the shit. Because he's too loud. I talked about that. Um, his his add-ons could be interesting. We can look at them. Freddy, Paul thing. Hunter still has iridescent heads. Oops, iridescent heads. Hmm. No trickster buffs. Oh yeah, trickster isn't in this one. I guess they're just putting them through. Maybe they'll put them. I don't know. Yeah, trickster buffs are going live. Um, I'm I'm very tempted. Uh, I'm very uh, interested in this open handed. Why would someone play Huntress with no hatchet? No, you're misreading that. Um, it's when she's got no hatchet. So let's say you've finished your last one. Th this is strong, but it's a Nure. So this is like some change you could do to Huntress to make her a threat at the highest level. Um, but it's a Nure, so obviously. Anyway. Cool. There you go. You got my uh, opinion and, and kind of ideas on it. Um...